So as you know, last time I was using the order guard totem here, and I do like it. Um, it's a good totem. So on the order guard totem, after about nine seconds, you get a shield, and um, it does it protects your uh, front line there for a part of the fight. It allows you to reduce the number of front line that you send out in your marches, and allows you to have more of your back end, your your offense kind of killing them off and and it works pretty well and but this week i'm going to go ahead and switch over to the darkness totem and just kind of see how that works all right but before i get started if you're a fan of war and order and of mobile gaming in general then you're in the right place i release between three to five videos a week just like this so give me a like if you haven't already subscribe and most important share the video share my channel with your friends and with the people in your alliance all right so let's go ahead and get started okay so now i want to switch away from um, the order totem. So I'll, you can do this once uh, every seven days. And so it's been a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna get back a, a bunch of my um, resources here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click confirm. Okay, now I've reset it. So now I'm gonna go over to the darkness totem and I'm gonna go ahead and add my a few of my um, artifacts that I'm not already using. Let me go back here. I'm just going to go ahead and add them all in here. Just so that I'm sure I'm getting the most out of this. Go back here. And I'm going to go ahead and add this one. This gets me up to seven. I don't really need seven. <clears throat> These are purple um, totems. But I'm going to do it anyway. It's just uh, kind of a habit now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to go ahead and, and train. And so if I look at these, you know, I start off with Archer HP, Archer Attack, Mage Attack, Infantry. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and and um, upgrade through here. Let's get a few of these. Now, the important thing here is to stop whenever you get to the right spot. So that's infantry, infantry, cav, damage reduced, damage reduced. I'm going to try to get up to there. And let me see what's above that. I want to, yeah, I can, I can make it pretty easily here. So I want to get that damage reduction for my cav. That would be good. And here, Mage HP, I don't care about. Infantry HP, I don't care about. Cav HP, I do care about. But I'm going to go ahead and go over to the other ones now. And I'm going to raise up here. Get these up a little bit. Let's make sure I can get at least this far on this one. Let's march or attack. Infantry HP. Cav HP. Let's go do my cav defense here. Now let's go back over to the second one. Let's um, get my cav attack, cav HP, infantry HP, damage reduction for cav. I'm not going to be able to take it any further there. I don't know if I could squeeze anything out of this. Nope, almost though. Pretty darn close. All right, so now I can go ahead and and um, awaken this. Take it as far as I can up to level three, almost level four. I'll probably get level four this next week. So here, here's what this one does. So this is the this is the darkness totem, and the skill that it has is called Death Harvest. The Spirit of Darkness launches the Death Harvest every 9 seconds, respectively dealing damage equal to the total battle power of your current troops, 
up to 4 million times 1.2 at level 3 now, up to 2, up to 6 enemy troops. It doesn't stack against the same troops. So ideally you're going to be, you know, I could see this working really well if you're in a, um, like in a team type attack, like a timed attack or a speed attack or a rally, something like that, where a, a big variety of, of troops are going to be hit. I, I guess it's more importantly, not, not really on the attacking side, it's on the defensive side. So you want to hit people, like if you're hitting a castle that has a, a lot of different troops in it. So, you know, really, honestly, most attacks are going to be like that, other than maybe the Star Ruins where you're attacking a specific march. Um, when you're attacking, let's say, an uh, Alliance Castle for a crown, there's a lot of different people in it, unless they're all level 40s and they're all using the same troop types, which I haven't seen that before. You're going to get more than six um, different troop types out there, so you can, you can do some real damage to it. But let's go test this out now. So this is this is interesting. So now we've got this. So let's go over to uh, you know Star Ruins, our normal place here, and let's go into the fours. And let, let me make sure I have some buffs. I don't get too embarrassed. I mean, I'm not the strongest in the world, but oh look at this! Three minutes left. I'll go ahead and knock it up into the two hours and I've got my other basic buffs here I'm gonna go ahead and get a few more troops sure we'll do an SOS after this too to see it against uh, someone else um, all right we can find the star ruins here we go all right down to the star ruins go to level four find someone there are two hours all right, they're pretty. This these uh, this guy's pretty tough. So I am gonna go for a plunder. I'm probably gonna lose this because you can look at your troop power, and my troop power is not gonna hold up here. I don't think. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna be a little low on the troop power. I don't think I'm going to win this, but I'm going to be positive. I'm going to go for this attack. Let's see what this totem actually does. I should last at least nine seconds. And here we go. Yeah, my, my front line's taking it. Oh, that was pretty cool when it did go out and hit. It looks like that's actually... Oh, wow, that's, that's pretty good. It's actually doing a lot of damage. It actually should tell us in the in the report here how we're doing. Yeah, this is this is pretty close. <laughs> this is really close. So this is getting a lot of chances to actually hit, which is a good thing. All right, so we we pulled out. Yeah, we we got this. So let's go ahead and look at the actual report and see what it does. I'd like to see this because you know we had the new. Um, you know they've been the totems been added to the actual report now so they had the hunting totem level 15 and we had the darkness totem let's see I think it does tell you yeah here we go it doesn't actually tell you how many troops were killed by it But I think it did. I did a lot better than I actually thought I would do on that. Um, their actual um, their battle power was, you know, higher than mine. So I thought I would lose that. Let's try an, another person. Let's get someone with even higher. There's a four eighty two. All right, let's 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 do a, an occupy. I'm probably gonna lose this. All right, so I'm gonna reduce my infantry. I'm gonna go 
reduce this down to about there go here get a few more of these all right here we go so mine is my battle power is um, 4.19 and theirs is 4.82 so they should beat me so let's see what happens let's see if they actually have a totem apply all right so here we go all right getting to nine seconds here watch this hit yeah hit all of look at that it hit all of their their troops that was cool here we go again hit it did oh that did significant amount of damage you can just look at their back line and the damage they take look at that that was awesome Let, let's take a I want to I want to look at that again let's go to that battle report so this actually this is one of my favorite totems I, I really didn't expect um, this to do that well honestly and let's um, okay right here all right here we go here we go yeah that's doing some pretty good damage yeah yeah I, I like this I really like this totem Let, let's try it out in a and, and this is going to be completely random. All right, so I'm just going to do an SOS here. And I'm not really even sure if these guys have troops home. So I'm going to send an attack out. And I'm going to hold off on the SOS until I see what kind of troops they have. You know, here's one at about 5 million. Who knows how that's going to go. All right, so I'm gonna reduce here, just like I did in my my other fights. All right, Bring this down. Send this out. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna send some low tier here, just in case. Um. All right, so I'm gonna send some fours and fives because if if it's not if they're not um, if they don't have a ton of troops home, I don't want to waste my my actual um, my SOS on them. So I'll take a I'll take losses to my lower level front lines. All right. So here we go. So I'm going to send this attack out. I'm going to speed it on in. Speed it on in like I do. I have some of these 25%ers. Uh, so I'm going to use those. I have to use a bunch of them to get there. All right. This attack is kicking off. They don't have many troops, so I'm not really worried unless I get a bunch of reinforcements. I'm not even going to I'm not even going to worry about it. All right. No. Nope. Um all right. So I didn't have to use it there. Yeah, you'll see, yeah, all right, so that's a dust run, so let me, uh, let me hit the other guy, let me get these uh, troops back here, that was a quick fight, let's go for the other one here, all right, so, here we go, Send a few more of my lower tier out. I need to build more lower tier to, to be my meat shield here. It would be a lot better in the long run. I think I've kind of burned through a few of those. All right, that's good. Whatever. Let's do it. Again, burn through these 25% march beads while I've got them. Don't want to waste them. All right, there we go. What are we looking at here? Um, yeah, on this one, I'm actually going to use my SOS. He's got, you know, he's got a couple hundred thousand troops. Go 
Looking for that. Really don't want to take a lot of losses right now. So, but this, I'm doing this so I can look at this actual report. So, all right. So first things first, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and shield. And I'm going to put on a day shield, so I'm good until tomorrow. And now I'm going to take a look at the actual report. And let's take a look and see how that totem did against a, another castle. So let's go here, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there we go. All right. You know, the, the battles are over so quick, it's hard to, to see the amount of damage it's actually doing. Let's look at that report. Oh, okay, here we go. So here I can see that this totem, that's, that's this one. So this, this right here is a skill from the totem. It actually did 12,000, it had 12,000 kills. Look at it compared to my other artifact skills. That totem outperformed them and they're evolved. So, I mean, of course, duh. Um, but these are, these are level one evolved. So you can look at my, uh, the array that I sent out. And so you can see, you know, it did pretty good. So I'm, you know what? I, I really didn't expect this totem to do this much. So on that first fight, it did 98.66. Let's, let's take a look at those actual, the reports from the, from the mine. Okay. Yeah, that's where it's not going to tell you. Yeah, you have to see it in the actual fight. So you know, in, the, in a real fight, not in a mine fight, you can actually see, you know, the actual effect it had on the battle. And it look at that. It outperformed, you know, every single time. So I'm, I'm you know, I'm pretty happy with that. The fact that it outperformed my my uh, Joan Spear stab um, skill, you know, every single time, that's that's pretty big. I, I'm really really happy. Again, I'm I'm super surprised um, that this totem did as well as it did do. Next week, I'm gonna go ahead and try out. You know, everybody, well, a lot of people I've seen are using the. A lot of people, it seems, are using this flame hammer skill, and I used it for a little bit, and it is really good. But um, I, I'd like to see how that performed. You know, another thing I'm going to do, I like to do PvE. Against single targets in PvE, I don't really think that this is going to do great. It'll do better than the shield, <laughs> um, obviously. But let's see, for this, I would want to put it right there. All right, look at this. I, I actually want to send out a mix here as a distraction to the to the beast. All right, so I'm gonna set this out and let's see how how it does. All right, so it's hit a couple times now. It's hit three times. All right, let's see how it did. You know, how I, I compared. So it does do better than if I just use the shield and I reduce. So I, when I was using the Athena's, uh, not Athena's shield, um, the the order guard totem, I was reducing the number of front line and putting more back line in. And you can see here I did uh, 1.6, 1.59, 1.3. Now I when I've switched over to this darkness totem, you know, I did a 1.87. So that's, you know, quite a bit more. Let's do another one just to see after two. Okay. Again. 
All right, let's just go with this. Let's see how we do. On the goal, the goal of these, and, and I didn't have enough front line, is is to have enough distraction in front line so that they don't get to your back line until like the twenty seventh second or so. But let's see how we did. Yeah, a little bit worse than the one before because I had more distractors in there. But that's good. So I, I don't, I wouldn't expect that to do because it's hitting multiple targets. So for PVE, the flame hammer will have a much bigger effect in PVE in, in the damage output that you do. So for, you know, any of the events that are PVE based where you're just trying to compete here. So like the Dark Abyss would be one. That's going to, the flame hammer will have the biggest um, impact on your, on your damage there. But on your PVE, I mean, I'm sorry, on your PVP, I, I would expect that this, this totem here, the, um, the darkness totem, death harvest, it, this one looks like a real, really, really good option. I'd like to compare this next week against the flame hammer. Before I upgrade my totem anymore, I'm going to do a switch over. I'll do a video and we can compare the, the damage output in PV, PVP to see how it does compared to that. To me, I, I feel like just a feeling because it's hitting those six different targets that in the end it's going to have a bigger impact than your flame hammer. But we will see. All right. So I hope this helps out. I hope... Um, you know, you give the Darkness Totem a try. It looks like it is a really good totem, a really good choice here. And with that, take care.